Ladies and gentlemen, fight number seven this evening will be contested in the eternal flyweight division of the three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 58.2 kilos and trains out of Wolves Den. Tonight, he makes his second appearance in the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ryan Jankowski. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 57.6 kilos and trains at a scrappy MMA. Tonight, he makes his MMA debut. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Daniel Hussein. <laughs> when the action begins, your referee in charge, Matt Wynn. Matt Wynn, final instructions. I can see Big Rig here from Big Rig's gym in Malaga in WA. I hope you're enjoying our show tonight, Big Rig. Good to see you. It's Ryan Jankowski taking on Daniel Hussain in this one. And here we go. Looking forward to this one. Brett Benetti here in the commentary position with Daniel. Very technical straight away. See Daniel switching stance. Both of them are great. Oh, here we go. Ooh. And you can see, this is what we discussed before. Daniel should have the grappling advantage on paper here. So let's see how he uses the... Uh, I know down at Scrappy they do a lot of wall work and they talk about head control. So let's see how he can use that to his advantage here. I, I can see our co-promoter of Eternal MMA, Ben Vickers, from Scrappy MMA, keenly watching this one. Silently cheering on his fighter. But I think show. Daniel underutilized that situation. So let's see. Look again. He's using it. He needs to use. He needs to do. He can't just go in and and, and stay motionless. So there we go. Setting up the single. But if he's going to great, let's see. Turn, Ooh, nice cool. That is turning the corner as good as it gets. And now let's see the base he uses. He can't let, see this is where he can expose the back. There we go. There's the back. He's too high. He needs to. That's where he needs to use his seatbelt. There's the Kimura trap there. So let's see if Daniel can set up the Kimura trap again here on the side. It's a position that Ryan Jankowski would prefer to be. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if Ryan will disengage. I mean, look, Daniel looks to sort of, can't see from this angle, but again, now he's taken down. There's a Kimura trap still almost there. He looks like, there we go, there it is there. He, he, was, he was prepared for this, he said. Basically, he knew what the game plan Daniel was saying was going to bring. And there we go, look at that. He's experiencing it. Wow, well, the and move now he by shut, down, shut down the lower back there and forced him down. But this is where we need the, uh, he needs to, to put pressure up on that chin there. He needs to use shoulder pressure and don't let Ryan elevate him. Perfect, flatten out and sprawl. And again, we're seeing that front headlock position again. There's the whole family of chokes there. You've got an Anaconda, Das. I mean, that right now we're seeing, is he gonna go for the guillotine? Jankowski might go for a takedown in his own here, but, but I think, oh, he might. See, Matt, Daniel, he used the wizard perfectly. Wow. Oh, and that's straight, to, is, it, is it? No, it's not full mount, you can see. I think he might be. No, he's a half guard. Well, there we go, now, back. again, Ryan tries to scramble and expose his back, but now we're in full mount. And he, again, if he really wanted, he could set up a triangle there with that arm trapped. Great this groundwork by Daniel was saying early in round one. Here we go, he's gonna roll and expose oh. his back, that's where he needs. He needs to stay, he can't go too high. See if he comes too high. Rear naked choke. He's going for it. He can't, he hasn't got it locked in yet, but it's getting there. But this is where the hand fighting from, from Ryan is so important. Good defense by Ryan Jankowski. He needs to do everything to focus on that choking arm and then stop that secondary arm from locking it in. But right now he's doing well. Again, Dan can't come too high here. See how he's, got, he's very high up, and that's he's done where, it twice yeah, now. Yeah, round one. yeah. But again, at this level, he's showing great I mean, control. Let, yeah. Now, come on, Tommy. He needs to stay on top. He's going to run out of time, yeah. and he does. But what a first what a round. round by Daniel yeah. Asain, and he's pumped. Yeah. So is round. Ben Vickers. Here we it's go. Up. Round two, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Brett Benetti here at the commentary position with Daniel. Break your face, Bradshaw. I'm never going to get sick of saying that. But here we go. Round two. See, what I really like, Ryan, you watch the little faint. He's getting Daniel to react. And that, uh, then he, <laughs> he throws it, as I say, he, he doesn't make me look too crash shot, does he? <laughs> I always say that. But see here, Ryan, he's using that oval as a wizard, and he can step through Ooh. and throw him. 
But Dan's trying to circle around the back and he's got yeah, a stronger position. We, so here against the fence with a body lock is when he's in a lot of danger. This is where uh, Dan on the top is going to control training training with the likes of Pablo and Jack Becker, who's probably Australia's best at 70 at doing this. You watch that body lock and look where it's led him to. Now he's, if he can get to full back again, then again, look, if he can control that Kimura, now he's going, again, we're in that same front headlock position. It's good work by Jankowski to get out of that because, again, it looked like a bit of trouble on the ground. See, this is again. where Ryan, again, like we saw in the fight before, don't just sit there. Because now, look at Dan, he's setting up the Kimura trap and he's going to turn turn to his left and circle out of there. There we go, perfect. At least keep you got your timing right on that yeah, one, Yeah, yeah, and he, he can keep circling with that. Perfect. Oh, wow. beautiful. See, the, the problem is he needed to keep that trap. If he had kept that sucked in, he could have then worked towards uh, Ryan's back. Everything Ryan Jankowski is trying at the moment is just getting nullified by the ground game that Daniel was saying. It's very impressive. Oh, look, at the, look at this leg locking from Dan. That's what happens when you train with Jack Becker. Jack Becker, Rodder, two of Australia's best at this technique. Wow. And these are big shots. Big shots coming down by Daniel so let's see if he, can, he needs to get those hooks in. He's but he, trying to set something and up. And we've got a bit of blood there, I think it looks like. But see, again, too high, like we discussed in the first round. But where he does, again, you know, single, now he can switch between the single and double, and he needs to pick. If he goes to the single circuit to your left and shut down the hit. But see, Ryan's working really well getting those underhooks, and he's going to try and scoot out towards us. Dan obviously realises that, tries to work his overhook in. But see how... Uh, See how Dan switched then and brought the head under? That whoever's got the lower head in this position wins. They win their position. And, and that's one of the... It's the same. Yeah, that's one of the little uh, fundamentals down at Scrappy MMA. Is his head control is a big thing. But he's just not giving him any room, room, room yeah, to Yeah, it's move. non-stop. Non-stop. Especially at this weight, these guys can go... But let's see, can Ryan use that frame there? See, there's the... Look at the beautiful use of the wizard. And he hops almost straight into full mount now. Don't forget Hill versus Mumford, Eternal MMA, Saturday, but July 17 on the Gold Coast. I mean, Dan's using those but those those hooks, and look at that, passes beautifully to side control by use those hooks. And that's the difference in BJJ uh, pedigree we see here. And if he's going to trap that, I mean, they're almost setting up a crucifix here, but only 10 seconds left. He's going to run out of time, but what Nine. a move. And now circle around to the back. Look at that. That's, Dan is moving, wow. and he's overwhelming him here. What a round. Incredible what round, round. Right. Daniel was saying. Jen Kowski's going, what right, can I do? Looking amazing out there. Tough fight for Jen Kowski, but again, he's got a round to turn things around, but Daniel was saying just seems all over this one at the moment with his ground game. And Ryan's non-stop. We saw in his last close, close fight, he's non-stop. But again, Dan's looking great. Third and final round, starts off with a front, front kick. See, I mean, he's not scared. That, he's throwing kicks like he's not that scared of being taken down. I'd love to see again. A bit, just yeah, and a bit telegraphed, but if Ryan doesn't want to grapple, you need to use those underhooks, use your whizzes, disengage, turn the corners. Because this is where he not again, look at Dan, beautiful from the body lock. Took less than 20 seconds to get it. Once you get that body lock, if you're not fighting the hand, you've lost. This is where the work of yeah. Daniel Sane will shine through. And there we go, look at that transition. Oh, that is... He's trying to set up a rear naked choke here. And he's here. got both hooks in now. So let's see how he controls. Again, he didn't control completely with both hooks. Nice work by yeah. Jankowski to turn that around. It was a bit of a mistake there by yeah. his side. But Daniel, look at it. He's got an active guard. He's working for the triangle here already. He's controlling that hand. So he's going to control that with his left hand. He's going to try and pass his left through. He gives it up. Oh, there, it's, there it is. There again. There it is. Oh. oh, it slips out. Again, he needed to control the head a little bit better. But again, see that gives Ryan the, the chance to pass. See, Jankowski can turn this around for a comeback victory, but got a lot of work to do. Under two minutes left in the third and final round. And let's see, look at Dan. I mean, again, he had an active guard before, now he's switching. He wants to stand up. He's working the cage to get back to his feet and probably get back to his ground. Oh, well, nice there, work right. there by Jankowski. He, he can transition to the back here. Again, don't make the same mistake that Dan made and come too high. But look, again, he's too high. Dan's going to shake high. him off. Same mistake as Hussain made in yeah. round one. Yeah, but look, I mean, Ryan's trying to control that leg, and we could see some... And I, I mean, I don't think he'd go for it. But now, see, Dan can sit here and punch. This is where, if you end up in half guard in MMA, it's not a, it's not a position like jiu-jitsu where you can play. 
Jankowski's trying to get uh, a little bit lower so he can take the back again, and it's too high, isn't he? And it is in the now we're in side control. He's gonna he's got that hook in so he can pass side control, but again, use is it see if he uses that whizzer and he uses his overhook now to control it. He can sit here, he can sit here all day. He's, he's up on the points. And this is a, not a good position. Ryan needs to at least do everything to stand. Uh, and he's distracting him there. Turned it around. He's distracting him there, focusing on the almost almost like a chin strap position from the back. And setting up once he gets those hooks in, it's gonna be and he's almost he's controlling one arm here with the hooks. This is a lot easier to choke from here now. I think uh, Jankowski can turn around and from that it looks like he's stuck. And he's controlling arm. Three naked choke. He's gonna he's gonna oh, I said, but you he's can got see he's going seconds. uh he's controlling the arm and that's why it's so oh, dangerous. Has he got it in? Has yeah. he got it in? He needs to get that hand on the head. He needs to get the hand on the head. Seconds. Nah, he's out. Good work by Jankowski. But see, Dan's got the oh, he's got back in again. There he goes back in. He's stretching him out. Is he going to be able to get it? No. Runs out of time. Wow. Great performance by Daniel Hussain. What a fight. The scrappy MMA product. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the bout 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Daniel Hussein. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Daniel Hussein and what an incredible MMA debut. The grappling exchanges between yourself and Ryan were far beyond your years. I'm informed also you're only 19 years of age. What a future you have ahead of you. I mean, just talk to about that fight from your perspective because from cage side, it was a beautiful performance to watch. Um, well, I know Ryan's got his tie back on, so like in the preparation for this fight, we was all just trying to like mitigate the kicks and trying to get a tie down, that kind of thing. But um, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> Well, you should be, and obviously coming out of the team with Scrappy MMA and a fantastic night for your gym tonight. I believe three and oh so far, two left to compete. Incredible training room there, the likes of Jack Della, Josh Della, Pablo Torriabla, uh, Ryan Gray, the list just seems to go on. Talk to me a bit about what it's like sharing the room with such an incredible stable of fighters. Um, well, it's just like amazing being able to train with these guys. Like, um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of the time you are the nail, but like, yeah. It gets you where you want to be. Um, and I just want to say thank you for everyone who's helped me prepare for this fight. Um, thank you to uh, Pat and Mini T over at Altered States in Willerton, helping me with a cover recovery and uh, getting my body feel good. And I um, just want to say thanks to my corner. Awesome, super helpful, like I could hear him, give me advice. It's really good. And um, also, just quickly, Ian Cook, if you're watching, you beat one of our guys before. Um, I hear there's an October card. If you want to do it, I'll come for you. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. He may be the nail in the training room, but the hammer here tonight. Give it up for your winner, Daniel Hussein.